We don't know. The community doesn't know, and the community has a right to know, and they want to know. It all started with a post on a Muslim community website advertising the development for their 55 and older community. Some, including delegates Pat McDonough, Kathy Shalega, and Rick Impolaria, wondered whether the community was only open to Muslims and whether that violates federal housing law. The developer says no. Anyone is welcome to buy a home there. Actually, we will be excited for our neighbors or anyone else to buy a house there. This community is not restricted to Muslims only. Dr. Fahim Yunus is the president of Shades and Springs Incorporated, the company building the houses. He admits many of their board members are Muslim, but says they won't stop anyone from buying a house there. Delegate Impolaria sent a letter to residents inviting them to a meeting on the development. It is a complex project with a lot of questions that the community is concerned about and they want to know the answers. Dr. Yunus says they were not at the meeting, but the property owner sent a letter obtained by 11 News to Delegate Impolaria that day and via email to Delegates McDonough and Shalega the next day explaining the project. What has happened is this, a lot of misinformation has been generated. We've tried to set the record straight by sending a written statement to the politicians, which they chose not to read at those meetings. The letter stated exactly that this community is open to all. So anyone who believes that this is restricted to Muslims only is wrong. Dr. Yunus says he will be at a community meeting at the Joppa Fire Station on September 26, and he will answer any and all questions about the project. In Harford County, Kim Day, CWBAL, TV 11 News.